George Lance here. Today we're outside Trendy Dumpling. Yes, Trendy Dumpling here in Houston, Texas. Yes, the great city of Houston, Texas. Here to have some delicious dumplings, some Beijing ducks, etc. Um, so basically, whenever I'm in Houston, I find I always get the best dumplings. It's just a matter of fact. So, and this place is just popping off the charts. It's seriously such a popular place. Normally in the evenings, there's a lineup out the door, hours, like waiting hours and hours for tables on the weekend. So I was lucky enough to be able to come here during the week at a little bit slower period, get a table, and essentially we're gonna do a menu challenge. So basically, I'm just gonna go in and say, hey, this is my first time here, I wanna taste the best of the best. What do you have to offer? And uh, let's see what they give me. So we'll go on in, we'll have a lot of fun, we'll have a great spread of food, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So, Trendy Dumpling, again, one of the hottest dumpling restaurants in Houston, Texas. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Everyone's here with all the food, it looks absolutely amazing. We have so many different items in front of us here. Um, so we have a, a walnut shrimp, or here actually, I'll walk you through it. So this is what we got. We got the complete order all right there. But it is a, uh, we got the uh, Shaolin Bao, which is a pork soup dumpling. That's what they're very, very famous for. They can have the walnut shrimp, it looks absolutely fantastic. This like looks so, so good. We have their famous green beans. We have spicy dumplings. We have the Peking duck, both the skin. And then they give you what they call the second course, which is like all the meat on it as well with uh, onions and green peppers. We then have their spicy fish. This is a house favorite and looks very, very delicious. Huge portions on these things as well. And then we have their beef noodle soup. They said this is another essential item. The broth is just you know, basted and made for hours and hours. And then we have their three color dumpling. The red is beef, the yellow is shrimp, and the green is vegetable. So I'm super, super, super excited to say the least. And so the total for this came to $123.41. But this is the full trendy dumpling experience. And yes, they actually gave me a t-shirt, which is super kind of them. So. Without further ado, I'd say we might as well get started. I think I have, uh, I think I have everything I need. I got a plate. Got a, I got a plate, I got a napkin. So let's, uh, let's just kind of dive in and do some chopsticks. But, uh, where to start is always a question. I think I'm gonna start with the uh, so start with these green beans here. Mm. Mm. Soy. That soy. We have garlic. Really nice richness to them. Mm. 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 Woo. Man. Okay. So like green beans are generally green beans, but these are damn good green beans. Mm. I'm very impressed. There's definitely a bit of a salt on them. But that flavor, mm. absolutely exceptional. Honestly, these might be the best green beans I've ever had. Mm. I tell you, that flavor, man, that roasted garlic. Mm. The salt, the savoriness. I don't really know what to expect for that, but I am blown away. That is like beyond, beyond, beyond delicious. Mmm, too, too, too good. I'll try a, man, I don't know where to start. Maybe I'll try to get into this, uh, some of these items off, off camera, because there's literally so, so, so many of them. Mm. I so look forward to trying this walnut shrimp. It just looks absolutely delicious. I'll try this, uh, the spicy fish here. Again, it's a favorite. Mm. Oh, wow. Really great crisp on that batter. The fish inside super tender, super juicy. There's some onions, some sesame seeds. 
some chilies on top. Also a really good portion. I'm impressed with this. I mean, like I said, we got all these items. What you see, like, probably like 11 people. For just over $10 a person. That's impressive, great value. Mm. Yeah, this fish. Mm. Yeah, the onions and the chili have this really, really nice flavor. A little bit of heat, but not too much. Just look at that bite. That is actually so delicious. Mm. All right, hands down, I see why this place is so popular. Mm. Just a flavor pairing. The combination. I would legit eat this all day. That's yeah, so good. Mm. Like I said, even just eating the straight onions and chilies. Mm. Spicy. But delicious. Also some ginger in there. I have no complaints. That was absolutely fantastic. Ooh. A little spicy though. A little heat, a little bit of heat with that chili but. No complaints. Um, let's try these uh, colored dumplings now. So this is the three colored dumplings. Excuse me. We got the, uh, right here. I'll switch over to my chopsticks. Let's be dumpling, so dumpling savvy. So this is the green. It is a vegetable dumpling. Really soft, really delicate. Got some nice chives in there. And they legit make everything here. They make all the wrappers here. They hand bread the, or they, you know, they hand make the dumplings. This is the shrimp. Mm. Mm. Great shrimp flavor. And the wrap is just the perfect like texture. I can tell they really know what they're doing. Try the beef one. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, man. Ooh. That is very good. Mm. Very rich, very savory. Damn. That was actually beef, that beef one was fantastic. I'll try these uh, spicy dumplings also. Mm. These ones have lots of soy, lots of soy flavor. We're getting like some uh, some green onion, some scallion, definitely some like chili oil. Mm. Mm. Man, pork inside. Mm. All right, this is definitely a must buy, these spicy dumplings. What a keeper. Mm. I'm definitely a fan. Mm. Mm. Honestly, I'm blown away so far how good everything is. Like, it's not even just that it's good. It is like legit exceptional. Hot damn. Super, super impressed. Like, it's just the flavors. I like the flavor, these pairings, the combinations. Let's try this uh, Shaolin Bao, which is a soup dumpling, which is they're very famous for, a pork soup dumpling. 
Mm. Mm. I love the way these are made, and they look so like so cute. They're just like uh, like a little volcano. And when you bite into it. You see this really nice mouthful of like literally like soup. But the nice thing about it is it just like coats your mouth. The flavor is great. And it's not heavy. Like these are really nice dumplings. But when I say like they're light and not heavy. You'd be able to eat a number of them and not feel like weighed down, you know, overly cumbersome or anything like that. Very impressive. And I'm showing this walnut shrimp, which looks, again, literally this looks so delicious. It is a deep fried battered shrimp covered in, in a delicious looking kind of a white creamy sauce. Got the walnuts on top. Oh my God. Mind blown. Man, this is a game changer. We're serving on. Mm. All right, so we're serving on lettuce, but the shrimp has this beautiful sweet sauce. It is creamy. It's a little acidic. The walnuts are like a little candied or sweet. Mm. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Those are very, very delicious. All done? Nice. Yeah, you can take those. Good. This is amazing. Amazing, right? It's a shame a uh, bit battered, very light, fine, yep. and covered with homemade uh, honey uh, mayo sauce. Honey mayo, yeah. yeah and uh, the one that also be baked the uh, house. Uh, yeah, it's 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 delicious. Thank can you. I get some uh, more water in the other one? Yeah, more water. Thank you, you want so much. Soda, if you like. Oh, uh, I'll take a diet coke too. Diet coke. Sure, thanks so much. So there you go. There's the secret. Honey mayo sauce. Mm. Honestly, game changer. Like I said, sweet. It's tangy. It's it's rich. The candied walnuts really bring in uh, between the walnuts and the the honey sauce. This walnut shrimp is a must try. Like, this is worth it enough definitely to come and buy, so. Mm. It's gonna be hard to ever find shrimp to beat that. Mm. I actually really like that they're um, serving it on top of this lettuce, too. Because the crunch goes with, like, the, really well with the richness. of the beautifully battered shrimp. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. And a very big portion. I legit, honestly, I'm considering ordering another one of these. It's just too, too, too good. Damn, <laughs> guys, I'm trying not to scream because I have the mic on me. So I know it's like a little louder, but like my excitement I'm really trying to contain it. This is freaking awesome. It's too damn awesome. So, amazing. I'm gonna save these last couple um, as we get into the, the Beijing duck. I would love to finish on the note of that freaking walnut shrimp. Gorgeous. Best of the best. All right, so here we have the Peking duck. Duck sauce, scallions, cucumber. Then we have the second course, which is the meat and the uh, Onions and uh, peppers. I also have a tea. And then here's the uh, the beef noodle soup, which looks very good. They have handmade noodles, all the broth. 
And I do have the uh, crepes uh, for the uh, Peking duck as well. So standardly, you'd take your crepe and you basically make like little tacos with the, uh, with the Peking duck. So I've got my little tongs here. So the, oh man, I can feel it. Oh, that skin is crispy. Look at that, guys. That's what's the best thing about these ducks, the Beijing ducks. Look at that, just that beautiful crispy skin here. Let's see if you get a crunch on it. Mm. Ooh, ooh, and it's so fatty. Mm. Rich. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that is delicious. So grab some of the, the skin there, the meat. I said some, but we got lots of it, let's be honest. Um, we'll put some of this little duck sauce on it. That was a lot of duck sauce. Some scallions, some of the cucumbers here. And this might be a messy bite, but let's, let's just dive on in. But that's delicious. And I see this, I'm gonna try the second course. So normally this comes in two courses. Again, I just asked for it all at once. But here we got the, uh, the Peking duck meat with sauteed, again, with the onions and peppers. And there's definitely some kind of a sauce as well. Mmm. Oh man, that is... Mm. So it's not in duck sauce, it's a different sauce, but it's soy, it's ginger. The way they saute it with those onions. Very delicious tasting. Mm. Yeah, I, I can't say enough of this one. Let's try this uh, beef noodle soup while we're at it. So that's the way we just tried everything. So beef noodle soup, big handmade noodles. We've got some bok choy in here. And let's try this broth. So first the, the lady said, just try the broth. So we'll start with just the broth. Mm. Really rich. Really nice with that beef. This is very much bringing flavors of a uh, like very strong, like reminiscence of uh, like a, kind of like a five spice. The noodles good too. Great texture on it, not overcooked. The soup has a really nice richness. A crazy mouthfeel, just coats your mouth some cilantro. That's good. It's a very like hearty soup. Just to describe it. A really nice like hearty filling soup. There is a little bit of spice to it. I wouldn't say it's really spicy or anything. It definitely wasn't any spicier than like the, 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 the fish was or anything, but a little bit of spice to it. Again, this a little bit more of this Peking duck. Oh man, ooh, that skin, ooh, crispy. Beautifully flavored. And I, I guess I'm really impressed with the, what they call this, the second course as well. With the, uh, with e like there's the, the kind of more sauteed version there. And great presentation. I like this little cart that, they're, that they, 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 they put it on. It makes, and of course this is like made for multiple people, it's made to share. So that's why, because it is, it's a significant amount of food. I mean, we have the meat off of like, you know, a freaking duck. I really like this. 
Like I said, the sauteed ginger. Great flavor to that duck. Definitely has a lot of like richness to it. Sauteed onions and fresh ginger. Mm. Such a good flavor. Mm. Uh, have another one of these. Uh, I'll call them duck tacos. Another bite of this Beijing duck. Like I said, the skin is what people are definitely after here. And it, it, it takes a lot of work to cure the skin, to create the skin, to get it where it is just beautifully crispy, still so flavorful, and yet moist, moist and juicy. Delicious looking Beijing duck taco. Cheers. I take big bites so you don't have to. You don't have to eat like that. All right, I'm probably gonna have one more of these, and then I'm going to finish off that shrimp. Very delicious. Like I said, that was the note I want to end on. Because it was that good, walnut shrimp, everybody. But absolutely fantastic. I have an appointment I gotta get to. But man, this was delicious. I should be able to have enough time just to finish all this up. But uh, yeah, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Again, I'll hang around here for another minute. We've got another minute. But really appreciate you guys watching. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button. It lets YouTube know that you like the video. Then it helps share it with other people. And of course, as our family grows, I get to travel more. I get to visit more places. I get to bring better content because I would absolutely love to cross paths with you wherever you are in your city. Maybe I'll come to your city and you know try your city's best eats like we are today here at the Trendy Dumpling, which I will say for a name like that, I would say it's not just trendy. It should be like called the amazing freaking here to stay essential awesomeness dumpling because that's exactly what all of it is. Here's a beautiful look at that sexy duck taco. Mm. Too good. Mm. Yeah, I'm impressed. Anyway, I will say, I'm super glad I just said, hey, give me what you, you know, give me what you got, give me what you want to. Because I wouldn't have picked these. I, I wouldn't have picked the walnut shrimp or the spicy fish. And both of those were like so fantastic. The duck I would have picked. But, oh man, this is so good. Mm. Mm. Hot damn. Same as the green beans. And then I would have missed out on the best green beans I've ever had in my freaking life. But uh, I thought everybody, the trendy dumpling is freaking awesome. Definitely would recommend. Definitely to try. I might get packed this up. Like I said, I gotta hit the road. But this is delicious. Whether you want a soup on a cold winter's day, or any other day of the week. I said, you gotta come in here. I think if I was gonna come back, some of my absolute favorite guys, I mean, you know, they're known for the, 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 the soup dumplings, the Shaolin Bao, they were really, really delicious. I absolutely loved the freaking duck. The duck was fantastic. Um, I loved the walnut shrimp. I loved it, it was so, so, so good. The spicy fish as well was so good. Um, honestly, there wasn't anything I had that was bad. Freaking delicious, guys. This is like really great spot, like I said. Um, so that one, ho I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, of course, say happy all the hungry, happy eating. And, uh, mm. still delicious. So that one, till next time.
Just that's about it. Have a lovely day. Stop by if you're in the area. Appreciate you. Remember you're loved, you're accepted. And uh, that's it. I appreciate you. Have a lovely day. Until next time. I love you. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.